Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm in another town, I'm in Leeds today, and I'm in the famous My Lahore uh, restaurant. Um, they have eight branches. I have been to some of the other ones in Manchester and Birmingham, but today I wanted to see what the Leeds one is like. Um, I've heard lots of good things about it. The views have looked really good on it. And it's an amazing building. I mean, it's a double story building, a double story restaurant they have over here. And it's on the main road. And the beautiful thing is, we are staying here today just right because it is a holiday inn where we are actually staying. And we've just walked across the road to uh, try this place out. Right? So, guys, stay tuned and let's go to my local. Thank you, you shouldn't have. Thank you. No, no, Jay. Jay. Right, guys, so we're just gonna go through the menu. What they've given me looks like a little booklet. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna mention is if you look at the back, shows all the branches so there are eight branches in this place and the flagship actually says in Bradford surprisingly I mean looking at the size of this one it's massive so I, I thought I thought this would have been the flagship so it looks like I might have to check out the Bradford one as well there is a delivery place in there as well but yeah they've got lot they've got eight branches in total uh, all over the country Leeds Manchester Birmingham one in Barking in London as well and then they're dotted all over the place mainly mainly in the north though. but yeah I mean um, I've been to a couple of these branches before and this is the first time in this particular branch and, and it, I'm First impression it looks really good, the decor is really really nice, well decorated, lighting is good, a bit of a theme going on. Um, I like the entrance they have over here, it's a little bit different from the other my Lahore's, um, really really nice. Yeah, they've got desserts as well and lots of stuff, so I'm just going to look at the menu. So looking at the menu, um, they've got lots of fresh juices over here, they've got the lussies, um, that you can have mango lussi, uh, they've got milkshake, a variety of milkshakes, I mean my daughter would love that one. The drinks guys, um, I like over here, they've got cans and they've got bottles. The unique thing on the on the, the menu I've seen here is a can that they actually put iron brew um, and that's quite unique. Um, so they do a selection of um, the starter side and dips, they do cheesy garlic naans, um, they've got some sort of chicken tortilla strips. And um, the thing that's unique over here that I've tried at another branch is actually the, the cheesy Kima samosas. It comes in a portion of three for $3.95. Um, I'm going to try that today because um, I do remember vaguely, I had it a while ago now, um, I do remember vaguely I enjoyed that one so that's quite good so I'm going to try that one again. You've got the usual dips, uh, it's interesting that there's charges for all dips over here, um, various charges uh, from 45 pence going up to 195 each, however I do like the way they put here mint, chilli and mayo and tomato and ketchup are actually free so there you go guys, you know, uh, they have put, uh, put down that one shot set on per meal so no extra sauces over here by the looks of it. So guys that's the menu for you, it looks very very interesting. Um, so we're just going to try mainly the grill stuff today and see how that happens. Um, I like the idea they have over here of water. Um, we haven't asked for it and they've complimentary put some water um, on the table. I do like the branding on here, so they've got my Lahore on here. And I do like the glass. Uh, it's a nice new metal glass, gives you sort of a taste of maybe, you know, what it feels like, you know, the type of thing you'll have the sea in sort of thing. I do like that, so a nice little touch there. Okay guys, the 
food has just uh, arrived. First impression is really good. I'm liking the, the charring and the look and the smell coming from the mixed grill. Um, but that's the thing I'm looking at. I mean, this one's quite impressive as well. So this is the chicken and the mentorium. Right. Well presented there. Well presented. I like the presentation. I do like the rice. Okay, so this is the chicken Manchurian. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's coated really well in the sauce that is. I like that. Let's just have a taste of this. Mm. You've got the spices in there, but it's really sweet. There's like a tangy, sort of sweet and sour sort of uh, sauce on there. Uh, really nice. Just trying to describe it the best way to eat. Like chicken. chicken is perfectly done. Not overcooked, not undercooked. Chicken is really nice inside. Nice pieces of chicken there. Sweet and sour. It's more of a sweet and sour, I would say, kind of sauce on that one. So the egg fried rice. Now, I'm not big on rice, but this one looks really colourful. Let's see if we can get some colours on there for you. That's an egg fried rice. It looks really great. Um, the, the, the rice is nice and white. It has bits of, I don't know, peppers in there, but very, very colourful. Well presented. Let's try this. Okay. The rice. The good thing is, it does taste like basmati rice. Good quality rice. For me, I mean, the flavours are not that nothing special about the rice. It looks good though. I do like the presentation of that. I like the sound of it as well. But here's the thing I'm here for, guys. The grill. Have a look at that, guys. Look at the charring on that. I don't know what it is, but... but you know, in the Midlands, you don't seem to get stuff like this. I mean, I've gone to some good grill places in Birmingham, or in the Midlands. But this kind of stuff only seems to be in North. We don't know why. Guys, look at the shop. I haven't even tried this yet, but look at the juices of that. Look at the charring, I mean, it's really beautiful. Charring on that. So let's try this now. So, trying the, the chicken now. Nice, flavorful, perfectly cooked that. Let's try this one. So this one is the meat kebab. I mean, it looks nice. Perfectly acceptable. Good kebab, but not my top one. Let's try the chicken one. Chicken one again, looks beautiful, lots of shine on there, lots of charring on there, looks really really good. I like the shine on there guys, I mean all the meats over here has a little bit of shine on it. I'm not sure we put anything on there or it's naturally the juicy but let's try this. Okay, come up again, perfectly acceptable, really nice, but not the best one I've had. Okay, we've got fish here. I'm not sure which fish this is. I'm guessing it's quality, but let's try it. Fish again, looks really good, juicy, succulent. Nice charring on there as well. Okay, we're gonna try this. Fish is good. I think for me, a little bit dry. The center is okay on the outside because I think it's grilled. But the inside is quite good, you know. I think that's a pie. I don't think that's pot. Good fish, good fish. But guys, here's the thing I thought. Let's try this baby. So they say, this is the best thing they do. Let's try it. That about right away. Oh yeah. Definitely the top guys. 
they have nice chops. I like that. Okay, so how is the grill so far? Oh, let's try this one as well. The wing. Nice. Mm, chicken, the flavors are really nice. The, the wings are actually better, I think, in terms of the taste, the flavor, the way it's cooked. I think it's a little bit more juicy, succulent. I do like that one. Okay, the one that we forgot at the start is small so Let's have a the small sauce, guys. So the small, like China size, sort of small sauce, mini small sauce. But have cheese in this one. Great experience. Okay, can you see the cheese there? Mm. You guys, what you need to go for? Cheesy small sauce. The chops. The wings. Possibly the chicken cheese as well. The kebabs are okay, they're good. But I'm on the hunt for the for the perfect seat for that. Guys, really really nice food. Really enjoying it. Mm, the naan as well. Let's have a quick look at the naan. Nicely presented in quarters. No oil or anything on this one, from what I can see. Let's quickly fry a little bit. Some uh, chopped over here. Good quality on, light, fluffy, not too heavy. Okay, so quick review what we got so far. The chicken Manchurian, really nice, but it's more of a sweet and sour. Than this is good, but I think it's uh, more of a sweet and sour. It's like sweet and sour, perfect. The thing I like is the grill. I do like the presentation. It's very, very nice. Well, if I come back here again, I'll go for the chop. I'll go for the wings and I'll go for um, the Malay pizza as well. That's the things I'll go for, right? So guys, tell me what you think. I'm gonna have a quick uh, try of these sauces. Let's try the chili one. The chili one's really good. That's the mid sauce with a little bit of chili in there. So it's just the way I like that one actually. So I can eat that one. Let's try the mint one. Mint sauce is a little bit rich. Let's try the mayo. Mayo just a standard one. I would have liked to see a branded mayo on that, like an HP kind of thing or Hellman's or whatever, you know. So they've just got a standard one over there. But guys, so far, the things that I like, chop size. That is the one I've got. Have a look at that. Come here for the chops and the wings. Sorry, there's not many restaurants I see at Iron Group, so it's a good alternative because I don't want Coke all the time or Pepsi, you know. So it's uh, a good alternative. You, you should sell it, they go on customer demand, customer ask for it. They That's good anything. because you should have some alternatives to everywhere, there's like Coke, Pepsi, there's like and others. Um, so it's a good alternative. This brand has been open about five years. Now. Is the brand all owned by the same person or yes. the franchise? It's a family business. So all, 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 yes, all first cousins. Manchester one was really good. Manchester one was really good. Yeah, good as well. Very, very busy. Yeah, we had to wait to get to that one. It's quite busy. But this one, we're just staying across the road. So we're very oh, you know how to Yeah, they mentioned it. So. <laughs> Alright, thank you, man. So guys, we really enjoyed the food here today and I've just been approached by the manager and in fact um, we're staying across the road in the Holiday Inn. They've also told us a nice little tip over here is if you are staying in the Holiday Inn across the road and um, just mention to them that you're staying there and bringing in all the card or whatever, what they'll actually do is they'll actually give you 10% off. So always a nice little bonus over there. So guys, top tip. Right guys, that was my haul for you from Leeds. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have, don't forget, you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button because that does help grow my channel. And make sure that you know, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and share with friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video.